Welcome down to the Malta Man Cave. I'm Keith. And I'm Dave. Tonight, we're doing a Pete War. Pete War! All right, so as Dave said, we were having a Pete War. Pete Wars are back on the Malted Man Cave. We're going to be doing Kalila 12 versus Talisker 10. So I know it's not a perfect Pete battle. You know, Kalila has it by two years, but Talisker has it by ABV because it comes in at 45, 45.8% ABV and Kalila comes at a meager 43% ABV. Oh, meager. So um, we're going to put the cast maturation for Talisker 10 right there and the cast maturation for Kalila 12 is right there. Anything we want to talk about this? I can't remember. Have you had either of these? Uh, no, so I'm pretty excited. This yeah. will be truly blind for me. Maybe Talisker. Maybe Talisker so, 10. So both of these are from Diageo. Um, you know, the massive that tiny, tiny little, little tiny company that little uh, just owns a few distilleries. Um, but these two are actually two whiskeys that kind of got me into Pete. Now, they didn't start my love for Pete, but kind of once I was kind of, yeah, I, think I, had a, I think I had a Spring Bank 12 cast strength. I had a couple Highland Park 12, Highland Park 18, and a few other peated malts. And then I think I had Kalila 12 and Talisker 10. I was like, you know what? This Pete thing is pretty good. Pretty good. My uh, advice um, for you newbies who are really are having a hard time getting into Pete and smoke what I did is, because I was bound, because I love scotch. I was like, I'm not going to be one of these guys that love scotch and, and doesn't like pee. I'm like, if I'm going to be I'm a scotch guy, I got to like it all. So I just kept trying it, kept trying it, kept trying it, kept trying it. And then I specifically, I was like watching a an Isla documentary. And then, you know, all the different, you know, the, yeah. the lore of Isla. And then they have like, you know, the different festivals and everyone's dancing around and just talking about the the sea spray and the whiskey and the salt. And I just, over time, just kept on trying it and then watching some videos about what I should be tasting and, and how it gets the PD smoke. Eventually it just clicked. So mm -hmm. without further ado, we're gonna see which one wins this peat battle, this peat war between Talisker 10 and Kalila 12. So let's, uh, yeah, Kalila 12. Let's put Talisker on the left All right. and Kalila 12 on the right. All right, go ahead and pour you some. Um, while we're pouring it, dude, did you see where like Pete is like pretty much one of the most efficient and has the most carbon capture in the world, Pete? Because it's like rotting like that, organic you, material. In a good way? <laughs> Here, it pours over there. It's a clean glass. Yeah, you can pour it in. Yeah, I don't... I don't know where I was. Oh, don't know. Um, that's a good amount. So like carbon um, in a bad way or like no, carbon in a good way. Like, like it's, it's, it's amazing. It is the is it good. Oh form yeah, of carbon. Yeah, like we should be promoting the growth of the the peat fields, peat bogs, peat bogs, um, fields. I mean, that's not completely incorrect. But it's just yeah, a, a it's higher a form of a field. They call yes. them bogs. Yes. Um, a wetland. You know what? That's not even true. I've even heard them referred to as fields. Okay. It's bogs. Fields. Anyway. It's kind of synonymous. So Pete is like one of the, and um, yeah. So anyways, it's if, a, if we want, uh, it's a green source of carbon. It's a green source of carbon. It's uh, you know, but then dead we, organic matter. But it's then probably we got some poop in there but then we so burn probably it. got some uh what else have we got some dead flowers some dead organic probably some uh what else we got bird poop some probably dead people what was that guy that was found I in england he was called like the oh the guy in the bog yeah what was his that yeah. was preserved right wasn't he like preserved in the bog yeah he was like right what what was special about it, that he just like he had a lot of soft tissue still? Oh yeah, like, he, was, he was almost perfectly preserved. 
That's what it is. I think so, yeah. It was in England, right? Yeah. If I recall. Mm -hmm. Or Ireland or Scotland, like UK. One of the Moors. Oh, crap. I'm the Hounds of the Baskerville. All right, so that was Talisker 10. All right, so I got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Talisker 10 is the one that's a little darker color, which is definitely has some color added to it, unfortunately. Um, we right. will put, if Talisker is colored and chill filtered there, and we will put if Kalila 12 is colored and chill filtered there. Dude, so much so much work for you after this. <laughs> but definitely Kalila 12 is a little lighter. So without further ado, let's get into some whiskey. Yeah. Ping. Ooh, good. Okay. Very similar. Mm. Dave has not had any notes, and actually, I didn't get any notes on this. I just mm -hmm. had the idea right before he came over. We were like, oh, let's do another uh, Pete Wars. Pete Wars. Pete Wars. Pete Wars. I want you in the ring. <laughs> Monday Night Nitro. What is that? No holds barred. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Spartacus? No, no, this is, uh, I think that was from uh, King, uh, er, um, King, er, Mongrel on Mongrel, uh, till Kong no, 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 arrive. No, 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 this was from uh, Ready to Rumble. It was like this terrible. Crown me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crown me. Do you remember when, like, where he's, like, dreaming and there's, uh. The only thing I remember about that movie is, crown me. R Randy Savage is, like, in the, is he the snap into the Slim Jim guy? No, no. I have no idea. That, dude, that was like, what, 18 yeah. years ago? All right, what do you get on the Kalila 12 on the right? On That's the right, the, yep. other right. So fruity. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's like a pear, apple, mm -hmm. but then a little pineapple in there. It's a little salty swordfish. There it is, that salty swordfish. I'll say this, so Kalila is a huge distillery that is used a lot for blends. Mm -hmm. But if they don't basically do a cookie cutter approach and they actually use good casks and they you know, do things the right way, Kalila actually has an amazing distillate if they use good cask. A lot of times they just don't because it mm -hmm. goes in the blends and they just kind of put it in the okay cask. But if you put it into good stuff, their distillate is actually amazing in my humble opinion. Yeah. A little There's linen, a little cologne. Yeah, I was gonna say it definitely definitely reminds me of like uh we used to have at <clears throat> at the clothing store I worked for, after we would close, we would have a whole bunch of shipment of new clothes. Definitely it smells like that, but it also smells at Abercrombie and Fitch or Gap. Gap. Did you ever work at Abercrombie and Fitch? No. It wasn't pretty enough. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't make... You know they actually had people come in and take pictures to make sure that your like, staff wasn't too ugly. <laughs> um, not the gap. They let any, anybody in. <clears throat> but it smells a little bit like the... Uh, so the leather bag or the leather jackets would come in plastic bags. Mm -hmm. A little mix of like popping that open yeah. with a little of the plastic and then a little leather. Little juicy fruit bubble gum? Yeah, I'm with you on that. Barely there. Barely there. I mean, the pears and the apples and leather and the cologne and even some floral now I'm getting is more prominent, but just barely there in the background is some juicy fruit bubble gum. Obviously, yeah. the saltiness, the swordfish, a little bit. Have what kind of smoke it? would you say this is? So this bonfire smoke? Is it is it sooty smoke? Is it it reminds me of like an old fireplace. Like mm -hmm. you stick your head in it. I think the reason I like Kalila is because it's, of all the Isla distilleries, it's kind of more similar, to the, the type of smoke, in my opinion, is more similar to Lagavulin, which is my favorite. Um, it's not my, counting Brook Laddie or Kilholman, but the more old school, smoke. the iconic, legendary distilleries of old oh, yeah. from Isla. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very nice. All Very right. nice little nose. Moving on to Talisker 10. I better not set that down. I got shaky legs. Immediately, Talisker 10 is more muted. Definitely. And I'm surprised because I don't remember Talisker 10 being more muted, and it's a higher ABV. So I, it, it smells a little like... Uh, 
Oh, it smells a little like <clears throat> uh, a little chlorinated. This Talos Cretan is the one of the most salty. Now I love salt. I love like when I go to a Mexican restaurant, I'm putting, I douse my chips in so much salt. Maybe that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of. Uh... It's starting to open up a little bit, but it, it is amazing how noticeable it is. How many flavors and the amount of flavor that jumps out of you immediately on the nose with the Kalila 12 and how you got to really search for it a lot more on the Talisker. Yeah. There it is. There's some cologne again and a crap ton of salt. It almost smells like there's a bunch of like, what's the word I'm looking for? Just oh my rock God. salt. Uh, Road what, salt. What would be just Table salt, salt cubes. Salt cubes. Is that a cube? Is that a thing? Sure. Salt cube. Yeah. Sugar cubes. Usually. Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah. I mean, there is just like there is just so much salt in this. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It, um. It really. It, Reminds me of it's got a little bit of like a suntan smell to it, um, like a beach, Bana like a banana. Yeah, like a fruity kind of, little bit of the ocean sand, the uh, or the ocean uh, saltiness, a little bit of that. I don't know, like ocean goo smell. <laughs> <laughs> a little brine, little, bar little, barnacles, little barnacle and, and brine, barnacles and brine. There's a yeah, slight that, sweet vanilla or... It's almost like a custard. A uh, Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like a vanilla like custard or... With, like a, a, with a bunch of salt in it. Like they messed up on the recipe and they put... They reached way too Yeah. They were trying to put sugar in it and they put salt in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that cologne, it definitely has a very... Um, a little musky cologne-ish. Mm -hmm. Like um, old school cologne that yeah. like your grandpa used to wear. Yeah. Like, not like, it's not like, like I'm Diageo heading, or Calvin Klein. It's like. Like I'm heading to Korea. The kind where like you have, remember that you'd actually, I mean, I know they still make some of these like this, but the kind that they're not, you actually got to open up the cap and like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you then put it. it back and then not the spray kind. I mean, do they still make kind where you actually have to. Yeah, like, I, yeah, yeah. You yeah. still have one? I've got. So they they usually sell them in a kit, and usually that style is more like an after like a aftershave. Well, it's it's a little bit watered down mm -hmm. so that you can put more on, and then yeah, so refined. <laughs> well, I wondered about why one. Why are you making me look bad with your nice shirt? Hey, how they got me this? Are you trying to make me look bad? Right. Well, you're already you got a buckeye. You're already skinny. You got a buckeye. You already uh, lost all your weight. Now, now you're dressing up nice. Okay. I've got I've got plenty of pictures of uh, my life before. <laughs> we swapped we swapped places. I took his. Took weight me a long time. And he took my skinny. Took it. Took me a long time. Um, yeah. Ooh, so there's, a, there's a little juicy fruit bubble gum on this now. It just but again muted. It's, it's so behind all like a the a salt, rock. All right, so you know. Rock salt. All right, you know how in your water softener they yeah, say yeah, you yeah. can. If you're not careful, it forms that like mm -hmm. that. What do, they, what do they call that? Where the salt like forms a layer. You gotta break through it sometimes. Just like a mineral, layer, like a it's solidified and or it uh, calcified. Yeah, or, whatever that yeah, salt layer is, you have to break through. It's like all the flavors are behind this mineralized salt rock layer. You gotta break on through the yeah. other side. Break on through to the other side. Anything else? A little touch of cinnamon and ginger. Okay, I'm, a, I'm with Maybe you Maybe some apples and pears, but nowhere near the amount of apples and pears that you got with the Kalila 12. A little tobacco. Yeah? For me. All right. Smells like one of those uh, White Owl uh, cigars or one of those cheap cigars. Not a cheap cigar, but one of those flavored like peach cigars or something. So, so far for me, um, Kalila 12 is winning on the nose. What about you? Uh, yeah, definitely. All right, on to the palette. Clear the 12. Hmm, that's interesting. So, very uh, uh, pepper note that wasn't there on the... Uh, pepper and white pepper. Yeah. Almost yeah. waxy. Oh, waxy. Um, Vanilla candle wax. Mm-hmm. Which I don't say. You say it that more than like, I do. I typically only get waxiness with like yeah. Klein Leash and a few others, but 
Yeah. Now, this one seems a little bit more muted on the palate for me than it did on the nose. Um, I don't... You know why? Why? It's oh. a lower ABV. Ah, so it's not springing off my... It's just more watery. It's, it's, just, it's just not bouncing it's off more the water. It's not air. evaporating as quickly to, to produce those notes. Mm. Just more water down. Um, it, def it definitely has a... I was going to compare this to... My kids have this like like honest apple juice. It does. It's watered down it's watered apple down. juice. Yeah, we have like a Mott's that's like not a yeah, full Mott where right. it's like specifically yeah. says it's watered. So down. it reminds watered me down of apple juice. Watered right? down, watered with, down apple juice with some smoke and, and some, some salt pepper and, and some, some white pepper. Yep, yep. Maybe a little pears. I mean, it kind of like on the end of the palate starts out apples and then kind of slides into like a little pear. Mm -hmm. Perry note, perish. Maybe a little bit of Perry. A little rhubarb for me. Rhubarb? Let me see. A little strawberry rhubarb. I won't I won't try no. I don't know. Something about it reminds me of it. Also too that uh No, I agree. That linen and I agree about the rhubarb. Rhubarb, but then also well, yeah, yeah. It's like the it's like a it's like a very faint cologne uh, watered down cologne watered down cologne linen like dried linen yeah like you just nod on some like a linen shirt but like a watered down linen shirt <laughs> <laughs> um I mean it's still good it's just you can definitely tell it's a lower ABV yeah All All right. right. So I'm salty. Gonna, I'm gonna cleanse my palate with that one. Take my little. So salty. Have you ever like used salt water to like clean your mouth? Mm -hmm. You know, from all the STDs that we've acquired. Mainly, uh, I had to uh, when I had a root canal. I had to clean it with uh, with some salt water. Doesn't it like almost feel like that? Yeah. After you spit it out. Oh yeah. It, or like or <clears throat> like seawater, ocean water, but it has it's it's flavored with charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Charcoal flavored ocean water. Yeah. Yeah. With a little vanilla. With a little vanilla, a little, a little bit of apples or pears, maybe some white that, pepper, some of that custard, um, slightly vanilla. there. Yep. But then yep. back to the salt and right. the charcoal. Back to the salt and sea. <laughs> we'll fight them in the air. <laughs> we'll fight them on the sea. We'll, we'll fight them we'll on, fight on, the on the hills. The hills. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. All right. Which one do you think you're gonna take on? Uh, Oh wait, on that. Well, we haven't. Have we discussed? Yeah, we said we it's said the nose. On the had, yep. So the nose one. Uh, palette goes over here for me. So I'll say this: it's a lot closer on the palate than it was on the nose. Kalila Twelve blew out to Oscar Ten on the nose. On the palate, it's a lot closer of an affair. I think you're gonna take Kalila again. Do it. I, I said this. Do I it. know for a fact that I would take Kalila Twelve if it was the same. If this was forty five point eight percent, and this was for which it is forty five percent, I think Kalila Twelve. But because it's a little bit more watered down, it's a little bit closer. I think this is a. Um, I think this is a great whiskey. This one right here, Talsker, very good stepping stone into a Pete. Just like you used it to get comfortable with Pete and, and you liked it early on. Mm -hmm. I like it too. For a peated whiskey, it's, um, it's got a very nice uh, balance between the, how, how strange the saltiness is with the, uh, the smokiness. And then those nice, uh, little light flavors. I think for me, for this one, honestly, it's because I had such a bad, I, I hate honest brand apple juice. Every time I drink so now it. Now it's watered down. Yeah. And so when I drank this, it instantly reminded me of just the watered down apple juice. Like, and I'm like, or a Pedialyte apple juice. Um, so I'm going to say this. So like if, if the, on the palate, if the Talisker 10 was like an 82 or an 83, 
the Khalil the 12 is only like an 80. Three or eighty four, like it's barely better than. So, the so, so for you, it's just from, ever so slightly. All right, so for me as a more of a newbie to the peat world, I don't drink a lot of peat, peated whiskey. Um, I don't know, it's almost a tie. I, I'm going to go with this one, but I, both of them are great. Yeah, they're both great. What about the palate? <clears throat> Except we'll for the final. the watered down apple juice. It's really spoiled it for you. Huh? I feel like I'm ordering a Wendy's Happy Meal because they have Armas. <laughs> McDonald's? No, 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 Happy Meal or whatever. Did uh, you say kids Wendy's? Meal. Or, or, Wendy's. Wendy's has. For some reason, I thought I heard McDonald's. McDonald's is getting expensive. Is it? Oh, my I, gosh, is expensive. The dollar menu is not the dollar menu. It anymore. is nowhere near the dollar menu anymore. As soon as COVID happened, I stopped eating fast food. <laughs> <laughs> really? And I haven't gotten COVID yet. Surprised? I did, Correlation? I did not stop eating fast food. And he got COVID. No. I, I did get COVID. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and like pneumonia. Or no, not, what, the sore throat. What did you get? Didn't you have a sore throat? What? When? You had strep throat. Yeah, why? Well, my kids get that all the time. So. I know. Well. It's fast food. You know what it really is? It's going to um, Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> The secret is, is to drink a little bit out of the toilet every day. <laughs> you know what the real, so people might judge me, but because I know there's no way there, me and the kids have gone to Chuck E. Cheese like three times and we've had it all to ourselves. Not a soul is there. Ah! <laughs> it's amazing. Only place you can like walk around with a gallon jug of beer. <laughs> with, with children around. With children around. All right, so... It is. The only real negative about Khalid 12 is just a little watered down. It's yep. 43%. So palette for me is a medium pa uh, medium finish. Or sorry, finish for me is a medium finish. Um, a lot of those notes. Swordfish. Yep. Applesauce. Yep. Watered down apple juice. Yep. Stays through it. A little bit of the pepper stays, which is nice. Um, pears. Pears. Pears and white pepper. Um, me and my mother likes to pay with the blue. Is that Snatch? Yes, it is. I knew it. I don't know where that came from. I just decided to do it. We're in the right, we're right. In the right part of the world for it. <laughs> All right, what about, how's the finish for the... Yo, well, I'm about to get into it. So for me, as he's taking a sip, same thing. It's short to medium, but it's still pleasant to me. You're ruining it with me, making me think about watered-down apple juice too much. I still like it. But the more you talk about it, the more I'm fixating on it. You like milk toast. <laughs> so, yeah, the palate is just so, I'm not, not the palate, the finish is so salty. And it's it sticks with you more than the Khalil 12 does, the Taos Curtain does on the... Yeah, on the finish. So it's that medium. It's a medium. Vanilla, finish. the the vanilla, the custardy, the, the that custard, feeling. salted custard, little bit of the uh, butterscotch. Yeah, I was gonna say like a car caramel. Uh, Followed by way too much salt again. Followed by way too much salt. Um, it's it's uh it's a it's they're neck and neck. I honestly think these are both probably. I, in reality, these are very, very close in um, Price, rank. value, yeah. quality. Yeah. Um, for me, I I like the... Um, I, I'm into... I guess I've been getting into some newer tastes with, with my scotch. And I definitely... Uh, Keith and I were just... Or I was just talking to Keith about how he and I have been trying some whiskeys. Um, and we tried one the other night and it was, it was peated in, uh, from Georgie Porgy from George and Amy Kaplan. Thank you again. Yeah. He's We've doing this cool thing on Instagram where he's doing like, um, mm -hmm. an advent calendar yeah. counting down. It's been amazing. It's all SMWS independent bottlings. And I feel so bad. I can't do the seven o'clock. My kids go to bed at seven o'clock. <laughs> I, I I thought I was going to want me on tonight. video at seven o'clock. <laughs> I'm going to try and do it tomorrow. I'm trying to do I'll try, but you you'll regret it. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
we're like doing doing acrobats at seven o'clock. Um, so uh, we, yeah, which one wins, and what score would you give each? So score, I'm gonna give the uh, that nose on the Kalila Twelve is incredible though. Yeah, the Kalila Twelve. I'm gonna give it a. Um, it's an 84 out of 100 for me, <laughs> and uh, 85, 85 for me. We got one tied. So I'm picking uh, Kalila 12 as my winner. Talisker is not that far behind. I will say this, if, if Kalila 12 was the same ABV, I think it would be the clear winner to me, although I do love Talisker 10. I love Talisker 18. I love Talisker 8 and Talisker those, 15. If that nose could have just followed all the way but through. If it wasn't chill filter and it was a higher yeah. ABV. Um, but, so. Best eight, looking nose on the market. 84 out of 100 for the Cleveland 12 and 83 out of 100 right. for Talisker 10. I ranked them too high. No. No, I enjoyed both of them. All right. Question of My the night. in the company. Question of the night. Yeah. What was the question Shots of the night? across the bow. No, that's no, we're talking about LeBron. No, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying that my company remark. I said maybe it's just the company so why sensitive. I rank them so high. Shots well, across I'm the bow. Scorpio. So LeBron. Mm -hmm. uh, LeBron, Kyrie. Kyrie a couple months ago, or what was that like? Two, three months. Four, maybe. I don't know. Maybe longer, longer because COVID. I don't even remember. I don't even remember. Yeah, somebody asked him about uh, getting to play with Kevin Durant. And he st stupidly... I don't think he meant to do it. No, but he the way that he put it across, he was trying to give Kevin Durant a compliment. Kevin Durant, clutch. One of the best shooters of our lifetime. Great, great finisher. He's a good shooter. He w So this... All right, this is what I'll say. I agree with you, and I think he's... Good finisher. I think he's probably the greatest player right now if he comes back like he did. Yeah. But I think he gets a little too much credit for how good he looked in that one NBA Finals when it was just LeBron James right. <clears throat> against the rest of the trash team. It's really easy to, to Let look... Let me finish! I'm not done speaking my part. Okay. It's really good to look good yes. when you have three other All-Stars and then the, the best six man in the NBA and then one of the best benches. It's really easy when you don't have to do be LeBron James and play every position and set people up and play offense and play defense. So I think he gets a little too much love. Now, if he continues to look like he did that one year, yeah. then yes. He's super clutch right. and probably the best player in the NBA right now. Um, I will say that LeBron, I would I would take I would take LeBron over KD in a um in a finals uh clutch moment every time because KD has had so much talent around him for forever. He had Westbrook, Harden, Ibaka, mm -hmm. forever. He had, he's had so much talent. Steven Adams, who's Le underappreciated. Yeah, LeBron has taken Mo Williams to the finals. Delonte West. Yeah. While he was having sex with his mother. <laughs> and Kyrie couldn't take them to the, he couldn't get him to the finals on his own. He had to wait till LeBron showed up. And look how great Kyrie did with all that talent on the Boston Celtics. So, I think it was just a mi I think Kyrie does not believe that. Yeah, because they made peace. Right. Right? Like I it, don't think... I thought, and it almost looked like Kyrie was, like, sucking up. Yeah. So, I don't think Kyrie meant it to be against LeBron. I think he was just trying to be, make Kevin feel good and, like, he's, hey, I'm on Team Kevin. Mm -hmm. I'll pass you the ball, dude. Um, but LeBron is like me, and he's an emotional guy. And he's got to say something he is about a, it. He is a precious snowflake. He is a precious. LeBron is a very. He has a precious. He is a sweet. A he's snowflake. just a sweet guy. And he gets his feelings. He wears his feelings on his sleeve. And as a superstar, we are not used. We're used to Kobe and Michael. Like, what? At the same time, they didn't have to deal. Kobe did towards the end. But Michael never had to deal with social media. Yeah, you're right. To see, like, oh, any man. given day, any troll in their basement can just cut you down and say you're the worst piece of crap so yeah yeah so are you giving lebron some love yeah all right all right what are you talking about 
So I am. Uh, I think I'm on team both of them. And LeBron had to like get his little like passive aggressive yes. subtweets. Oh yeah, his pat and then going on <laughs> he road is the tripping. King of the he went on road America. tripping and and said that he was hurt by it or whatever. And they're I, still doing road tripping. Oh yeah. Channing yeah, Tatum and uh, Channing Tatum, Channing Tatum. Channing I wish Channing Tatum was on there. <laughs> Magic Mike, Magic Mike. All right, guys. Yeah. Thank you, guys, as always for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. Remember, it's got both bourbon.